Alright guys, welcome back to another video. <clears throat> you guys are having a good day. Um, I hope this sounds very clear. Um, we are going to be doing a comparison video between the Guggen Squad Gridiron Jig and the Guggen Squad Juicy Jig. Um, we have some... I have a list of things that we're going to compare um, as you watch these clips of me swimming them through the water and all doing all sorts of different things. Um, uh, but this list is where are you going to fish the jig, when are you going to fish the jig, how are you going to fish the jig, and the key differences between the two jigs. We are going to get into this and see um, what, you, what we think, and I want you guys to drop a comment down below and say, or and let me know what your favorite um, jig is to fish, or which, or which one would you rather fish, the gridiron or the juicy jig. So we're going to get into this right now. Stay tuned. Um, it's going to be good. Hey guys, welcome back. We are back right now. Um, we're going to get right into this. The first, the jig that you're seeing right now on the screen is the Guggen Squad Gridiron Jig, actually. Um, it is a smaller looking jig, but they come, I believe, in the same weights. I'll have to check on that. But, um... Uh, let's get into where I would fish this jig. Now, I would fish this jig in heavier cover, laydowns, docks, laydowns, docks, reeds, just any, like, heavier cover. Alright, guys, um, we're back with some more. Um, on the next topic, and the next topic for this jig is going to be when. When am, uh, when, am, when am I or when are you going to fish this jig? Me, I'm going to fish it on a sunnier day with a little bit of clouds. And um, you're going to want like a little bit of chop on the water, but not like big rollers or anything like that. Um, it like, makes the bait really pop out and flash. And that skirt really, you really see that skirt in the water when it's nice and sunny out. I guess I probably just sounded really stupid, but... That's that's what it is. That's why you want it to be sunny, a little bit cloudy, but not not too sunny, but sunny. All right, guys. Now we are on, are on to how are you going to fish this jig? I'm going to fish this jig, um, as you can see right here, um, just hopping it along the bottom, just like that on the screen, and just hopping. It. That's the way I like to do it. That's my favorite way. Um, but I will also do it um, like. Like, um, I also drag it like this here on the screen. Um, I'll just slow drag it on the bottom, and that bite is real finicky and not like a super aggressive bite. It's more of a, it's like a slow, like they suck it up, 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 up off the bottom. That's when I would drag it, but mainly I'm going to hop that jig on the bottom. Um, just like you guys saw before. So, that's how I would fish it. Hey guys. Um, this here jig on the screen that you're going to see in about three, three or four seconds, um, right there, that is the Guggen Squad Gridiron Jig, and <clears throat> possibly one of my favorite jigs I've ever, I've ever used, slash, the action is just amazing on it, but, uh, this jig right here, um, we're going to start off on the top of the list again, uh, where would I fish this jig? I would fish this jig on the outside of cover. So I wouldn't flip it into cover, but if those fish were, like, coming off the cover and eating it on the outside, I would flip it on the edge, like, um, bank edges, rock edges, um, reed, like, reed edges, pencil reed edges. Um, <clears throat> I would f uh, flip it onto, or cat flip or cast it onto the side of, um, like, on the edges of laydowns, not in them, just on the edge. Um... The style of jig is more of a football hybrid style of jig, and that's what I would, that's what I would do, that's how, that's how, that's, that's where I would fish it, is on the outlines of cover. Alright guys, we are back, um, um, this is on the, when am I going to fish this jig? I'm going to fish this jig when it's sunny, like, try as no wind as possible, or as the least amount of wind as possible, um, and I'm, I'm either, but, um, yeah, I'm going to fish it when it's sunny, minimal wind, as, as minimal wind as possible. Um, that's how I'm going to, that's when I'm going to 
fish this jig. All right, guys, but this um, this right here on the screen, um, we're on the how am I gonna fish this jig? But uh, what you see right here on the screen, that is mainly how I'm gonna fish this jig. I'm just gonna hop it along the bottom. That's actually my favorite way to fish a jig because when you pop it and pop it on that pop in the midair, those bass really just smoke the jig and you just get absolutely hammered. It's so awesome. Um, that, that's my favorite way of doing it. Um, um, and here is the other way. This is the other way that I'd fish this jig. The other way I'd fish this jig is just like this. Dragging along the bottom. That's pretty much the only two techniques I use. I will swim a, like the juicy jig, I would swim. But, uh, no, these, this jig here, I don't think I would swim it. Just doesn't seem like it would be really good for swimming, but I would drag it on the bottom because dragging it on the bottom like that, when it's really when it's a really slow bite, is the best technique for bass fishing, in my opinion. Just dragging a jig really slowly on the bottom. That's ultimate. It, it is ultimately the best way. But um, that's these are the two ways that I would fish this jig, and yeah, on to the next topic. All right, guys, starting off with the key differences of these two jigs. That's what we are on now is the key differences between these, the Guggen Squad Gridiron Jig and the Guggen Squad Juicy Jig. Um, the key differences between this jig are the head. The Gridiron Jig is a football head, is a football hybrid head jig. The juicy jig is more of like a heavy cover flipping jig style of a jig. <clears throat> um, another thing is the weed guard. The weed guard on the gridiron is more of like an oval shape. The weed guard on the um, uh, juicy jig is more of like a round. Um, another thing is the skirt or the, the skirt placement the skirt is a little bit lower than the it's a little bit lower on the head on the juicy jig than it is on the great iron see like if you look on the great iron right below the head the skirt is right there if you look on the juicy jig right below the head or like below like it goes it goes weed guard a little bit ahead and then um, skirt, juicy jig goes. Um, skirt, or I mean, weed guard. Like quite a bit, a big chunk of the head, and then the skirt. So skirt placement's a little bit different. If you pay attention to that, and only other things is the hooks. Look, they're like a little bit different, and the way it sits. So the way this jig sits, the way the gridiron sits, is like a it like sits up so like the so it looks like a predator in the water. The the juicy jig just like sits on the bottom like a normal jig. Um Um what else? That's that's pretty much it guys. That's pretty much the key differences. Um I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go down and hit the subscribe button. There's a giveaway. Um I'll put a little thing at the end here um right after this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um and uh don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So I'll see. Alright guys, you see all this tackle? These are all soft plastic baits. Right here, here. I'm holding the camera. Sorry about that. Let's see. This pack has been opened. There is a couple packs that I've like used one bait from. And they're really not bad baits. I just I just never use some of this stuff, and you know, I really don't. The, the bag ripped when I literally opened that and ripped. The complete thing is, like, messed up. So you're not going to be zipping that shut. I'll tape that up or something. Um, some yum worms. Big bite bait paddle tails. Bass dynasty creature trailers. Um, Strike King baby rage cross. Um, a full pack of Strike King watermelon red flake rage cross. Full pack of water... Um, Moon Juice Rage Cross, full uh, sample pack of Striking Rage Tail Menace, the Striking Rage Menace, Carl's Amazing Baits Worms, um, getting that after, Bio Bait Leeches, Hog Farmer Baits, Fluke Style Baits, Zoom Curly Tail Grubs, 
Parbury Crawls, full pack of tubes, Z-Man Trick Shots, Bama Baits, um, trick, like, trick Worm, I guess, whatever, um, some Fluke Style Baits, some Excite Baits Flukes, Riot Baits Worms, Riot Baits Craw Chunks, uh, these are not Sweet Spot Tackle um, Baits, these are, here, let me get the pack real quick. Right bite baits tubes, but the bay completely ripped. I literally didn't even open it. This whole side was open, and I like just opened the package and it completely ripped. So I put them in an old sweet spot tackle bag. Um, just to let you guys know, these are right bite baits tubes and a sweet spot tackle bag. And the last and final two baits here is Stroud Customs. This is me, this is my company. Um, you have here, I'll take these baits out of the package for you. Right here, you have a Stroud Customs bluegill jerk bait. This is my bluegill color. Um, this is actually my favorite color that I paint. And then right here, we have a black with a pink mouth popper. Love these baits. Fun to make. And that is the whole stack of baits. All right, guys, if you guys want this box of baits right here, this is everything I just showed you a couple like in the last clip. If you want this, um, you all you gotta do is hit, go down, hit the subscribe button. Go down, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and and um, follow my Instagram page at Stroud Fishing, yeah, at Stroud Fishing, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.